Good day to you. It's morning for me right now. I'm about to make breakfast. Yesterday, David and I went holiday shopping. I bought a few really cool things. If you want to go straight to it because you're too curious, you can check it out. I'm just going to go about my day right now. I'm super hungry. And I'm going to make myself eggs on toast. You want to see my buddy? Here he is. The most prettiest dog in the world. How are you, buddy? <laughs> You're so beautiful. Favorite bread, it's a local kind of bread. How do you eat your eggs? I like my yolks to be runny. And instead of dipping my bread into the yolk, a lot of people do that, I kind of lay my egg on top and I put a secret ingredient in it that makes it taste so good. I put rosemary on my egg. It tastes so good. You should really try it. I don't put a lot, just a couple flakes. Delish. I don't know what it is, but the mix of the egg yolk with a bit of salt and the bread with the rosemary is so good. Also, I prefer brown flour, like whole wheat bread as opposed to white bread. I used to like white bread better when I was younger, when I was like a kid. I think it's a kid, well, maybe it's not a kid thing. Do you like white bread better? I just like how whole wheat flour tastes. Like they're more, there's more flavor to it. I guess some people might not like the texture as much. And I don't put butter on my bread. I just put my egg. Not an Instagram worthy egg, but tasty nonetheless. Also, what do you drink in the morning? Like most people drink coffee or tea or whatever, I guess, or juice, fresh juice. I love all that. But when I have my breakfast, the first thing I need to drink is water with ice, like super cold water with ice in a fancy glass because why not? I love drinking tea and coffee and hot chocolate and anything warm. And I have a soft spot for pretty cups, especially quirky cups. I don't think that's unusual. I feel like that's actually pretty common. I have too many mugs in my cupboard, but I don't really care. So for the past three Christmases, I've collected Christmas mugs, like the really garish over the top ones, because I don't find them garish at all. I find them really endearing and they bring me joy. I made a Christmassy mug haul last year and the previous year as well. I'm gonna link those two videos at the end of this video and in a card if you're curious and you wanna watch them. I bought everything at Walmart. They had very pretty cups this year, so I got eight. The first one is Santa Claus. I already had a Santa Claus, but it's a different one. And I liked it. This might be a theme. I saw it, liked it, got it. I like his eyes. He looks like a very gentle Santa. This one made me smile. Holiday cheer. It's shaped kind of like those mason jars. And it's a good size. It's a big mug, but not crazy big. Like this is pretty big. I guess you could have soup in this. But this is a little smaller. Not as over the top, good vibes all around. We have a little reindeer. It's not Rudolph, but I like him nonetheless. Pretty cute. This next one is David's favorite. It's Frosty. 
it's his favorite because it's a regular shape. He says he doesn't enjoy like the weirdly shaped mugs. I fully disagree. But I love this one. I like how minimal it is. I know it's not minimal. I feel like this is perfect for hot chocolate with a mountain of marshmallows on top. All the next ones are my favorites. Is there a favorite amongst the favorite? I don't know. And they all have a theme. I'll let you guess what it is. Here's this one first. He's so cute. Look at his little voice. Lennox is coming because he heard me talk like that. Because that's how I, I speak to him. Hi, bud. How are you? All right. You want to come and join? You think mama was speaking to you? Because I said, the pretty voice? Because you have a pretty voice? I know. You have such a pretty voice, bud. Oh. Okay. So I guess this is an English bulldog, I would say. He's the cutest. He has a scarf, he has antlers on, he's ready for Christmas. He might be a little drowsy looking. Or maybe he's pensive. Or maybe that's how bulldogs look. This can't be beat. This next one is also so cute. Look! Oh my god, the red scarf and the black and white of the dog with the glasses. Oh, it's too much. So I'm not sure if this is a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog. I would say it's a French Bulldog. Love Frenchies. Oh my god, this makes me so happy. You have no idea. Amongst, oh, am I gonna say it? There's four of those. Amongst the four. Oh, is he the cutest? I like it. I like them all, I guess. But I like this one so much. Look, it's a schnauzer. He looks so smart with his red glasses on and he has some kind of startled look in his eye but i don't know maybe he saw santa claus in the sky or a cat across the street the last one i got it for david and it's the funniest one it's the last one are you ready brace yourself here's a hint have you guessed it's not a dog it's the most famous cat on the internet Grumpy cat! <laughs> Look at his eyes! He's really not having it. I love it. Okay, so all of those are super cute. I have to admit though that like these cups, they're really, really large. It's kind of like too big for a regular sized coffee. An ideal cup size for me is probably half of this, but it's so cute that it doesn't really matter. Let me know which one of these are your favorite. One of the dogs for sure is my favorite. I'm hesitating between these two, maybe? But they're all so nice. Like I said, there's two other hauls that I did pre the previous years. And I got cute cups as well in those ones. So I'll link the video at the end if you want to check it out. Look, this is my current view. This. This. And these guys, all of this made me crave a cup of tea. I'm going for it. I'm taking this one. I'm having a little Earl Grey. How do you like your tea? Do you put lemon? Do you drink it just with nothing? I like my tea to be a little sweet, so a bit of sugar and creamy. I put cream in my tea. Am I the only one? I put a splash of cream in my tea. But now I'm gonna make a very special, super sweet dessert tea. And you should really try it. This is my special ingredient. Yes, marshmallow in tea. It's super good, believe it or not. Try it and let me know that I was right. When they melt and you kind of like gulp them up, it's the best. It's like bubble tea, but better. Mm. I got one. I think Lennox saw a bird or something. It's very, very concentrated. What did you see, buddy? What did you see? Sit. Sit. What are you doing? Are you looking for a treaty? You want a treaty? 
You want a treaty? You want a... You want to leave her? Okay. He knows where the cupboard is. Wait. Sit. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. He's the best. I love him so much. David should be home soon, I guess. I'll work a little bit more and then we'll hang out. Hey, you. Look, this is what I've been up to. For some reason, I had a massive headache. So I just decided to lay down on the couch what you doing but i've been watching zoe's vlogmas and david's gonna be home very soon in a few minutes and i'm making supper daddy's home bro. daddy's home are you so excited oh my god C'est mon petit <laughs> Got chicken, give it to me. <laughs> chicken <laughs> You wanna go play, bud? Oh my god. <laughs> In the Christmas decoration box, I found a little something cool. Christmas Mad Libs. I think I'm gonna play a little game with David. With the tasty hot chocolate. Right now I'm getting an unsolicited foot bath. Mm, I hate it when he does that. I don't like it. Mama doesn't like foot baths, boy. You're very nice, but no thanks. What are you eating? It's a smooshed banana with cocoa powder. Cacao. Cacao. You're having a banana chocolate pudding. Yeah, because it's healthy. We're going to become super healthy. We're trying to be... to eat as good as possible in between the Christmas... mayhem. All the chocolate <laughs> and chips and the good pies and... Mm. So we're trying to have broccoli and fruits in between. Well, I'm gonna have hot chocolate. And the way I make, I've been making my hot chocolate is, which is really good, with almond breeze, chocolate, almond mil milk, and I add just a little bit of cacao powder to it. And it tastes so good. So. Banana, maple syrup, cacao. What else is there in it? A little bit of almond milk. Mash, mash, mash. It could get smoother, but the banana was not ripe enough. Okay, I want to taste it. I never had it before. Yeah, it's really good. Mmm. I think this would be really good on um, pancakes. Right. You make that pudding thing and it's surprisingly tasty. Cheers. All right. Now, puppy. I'll drink my hot chalk. Yeah, puppy, what's going on? You want to play my lips? What happened then? What happened then, boo? Whoa. What happened <laughs> He's so cute. What you doing there? Why are you so excited? Oh my god. 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 Don't bite. Don't bite. I'm not going to touch you too. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're so ferocious. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So they're all... Uh, Christmas themed 
And this one is called Going to See Santa. Okay. All right. Let's get the words. Let me let, let me like put myself in the right frame of mind. You're in going to see Santa. Channel your like eleven year old boy. Okay. It's Christmas time. Googers. Googers. Right. Let me let me call the words. So, person in the room. Lennox. Oh. Number. Five. Part of the body. You want to say muse. Nostril. Nostril. Noun. Views. That's a Hair. Brown. Mucus. Oh. Wet. Green. Jog strap. VCR. Snap crackle pop. Leggings. Humbug. Ow! Puppies. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is future Cynthia coming to you. I was editing this vlog and as I was editing the final clip where I read to you the mad lib that we just did i realized the footage there's something wrong with the footage i must have pressed the time lapse button on my camera because there's no sound and we're talking super fast looks like we're having a lot of fun so what i'm gonna do is show you the clip but i'm gonna read you the mad lib sorry about that so here is what the mad libs say going to see santa Yesterday, I took my friend Lennox to see Santa Claus at a department store. He's only five years old, so I had to be sure to hold on to his nostril whenever we crossed a bug. <laughs> oh my god. When we got to the hair, there was a long line of brown kids, oh my god, waiting to talk to Santa. I had forgotten how stupid. And Anyways, kids waiting to talk to Santa, who was sitting on a platform in a mucus department. Thank you, David. Santa Claus is a big, fat, wet man with a green-colored beard who dresses in bright red jock strap. This is all kinds of wrong. Whenever a little kid came up, Santa would sit the child on his VCR and say, Snap, crackle, pop. Then he would say, Now, have you been a good little leggings? And the kid would say, Humbug! Then Santa would say, And what do you want for Christmas? And the kid would say, I want a dog, or I want an electric tongue, or I want some little toy puppies. Then Santa would say, you bet. And the kid would run quickly to his or her parents. All right. I hope this made you smile. It made me cringe and smile in pieces. Anyways, I just didn't want to leave you on the note of not knowing what the Mad Lib said. Although we could have done without it, right? Anyways, I'm planning on making a couple more vlogmases for you. I hope you're enjoying it and that you're having a good festive season. If you like my videos, please take a moment to hit the bell. It really does make a difference for me. I'll leave the playlist of my previous vlogmas here if you're curious and you want to watch it. I'll see you very, very soon for another festive video. Thanks for watching. Bye.